Hi everyone, this is John with Music Greatness, and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to play Real Love by Mary J. Blige. Starting with the intro, it sounds like this. So what you just heard there was the intro to Real Love. Now this tune is in the key of A minor. Which is just all of the white notes. Now let's take a look at some of the chords you're going to see in this section. First of all we have a D minor 7. So that's in the left hand a D and then another D an octave higher. And the right hand has C which is the seventh of this chord followed by F and A. So that's D minor 7. Another way you can actually look at this chord is as an F major chord for the right hand in second inversion with a D in the bass. And it's actually going to be quite useful to look at it in that way in order to play this intro section. The other chord is an E minor 7. So this is exactly the same type of chord in fact, just a whole step higher. So the left hand has E, and octaves, and then the right hand has D, which is the seventh of this chord, followed by G and B. So that's E minor 7. And again, you could also see this chord as a G major in second inversion for the right hand with an E in the bass. So now let's take a look at how to play this intro. Now, as I said, it's very useful sometimes to just look at the right hand chord because in this instance, the left hand is very, very simple whereas the right hand is where all of the interesting things are happening. So, first of all, we have an F major chord in second inversion. Root position would be like this. First inversion would be like this. And then second inversion is like this. So that's F major, and we're going to play it four times. One, and, two, and, followed by a G major. One, and, two, and. So if you notice there, I actually used some very particular fingering when I was playing these two different chords. So on the F major, I'm doing one, two, four. But on the G major, I'm doing one, three, five. And the reason is, it gives you a really nice smooth legato movement from one chord to the next. Now there's actually one other chord that we're going to transition to here and we're going to have to change the fingering on that fourth G to make up for that. So the third chord is a C major in first inversion. This would be a normal C major in root position or in first inversion here. So I'm going to go from the F chord. And then on the fourth G chord, I switch to one, two and four again. So one more time. And the reason is, just as before, to give me this nice transition to the next C chord. So here it is one more time, and there's one little detail to add at the end, which is a little melody in the top of the right hand. So. And we've got B, C, G. So here's the whole sequence, and this is a two bar sequence in total. One and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four. So notice that I'm finishing this with my middle finger in order to start the phrase again smoothly. Now in order to play this intro, all we need to do is play that exact same phrase four times. However, there's a slight little difference on the second time we play it, so that's the last thing I need to show you. So on the second time round, we're going to play it as before. But 
we're going to add this extra A right at the end. So that's the only thing that changes, you add this extra A at the very end. And then to start the phrase again, instead of playing an F chord at the very beginning, you're going to hold that A and then just play the bottom half of the chord like this. but then the next F chord will just be all together as normal. So like this. So as I say, we play this two bar phrase four times and the second time round, there's that slight difference. Here it is all together. And that's it for the right hand. Now in comparison, the left hand is extremely easy because all you're going to do is play quarter notes as octaves. On beat one, you're going to do a D. Beat two, you're going to have a D sharp. And then on beat three, an E. And that's all there is to it. So even though this is a two bar phrase repeated, in the second of each bar, the left hand actually doesn't do anything at all. So it's going to be like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, exactly the same throughout. Together, they'll look like this, one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four, one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four less time okay so now let's hear it all at full speed again from the very beginning Alright guys, so that's all for the first part of this tutorial. If you'd like to learn the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching and if you like the content or have any questions, let us know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.